Hi, Year 2. It's Mrs. Flanagan. Look, I found these um, things on this table, and they're actually a clue as to what we're going to be talking about today in science. The first one is a feeder with some fat balls in it. Look, it's got a hook you can hook it up with. I wonder where you'd put that. The second thing is some binoculars. You can look through them and see things close up and in really clearly. And the third thing is a book called Garden Bird's Guide and Logbook. I wonder what we're going to be talking about. What do you think? I'll see you in a minute. Hi you two, we're outside now and I've bought my three items to help me set up something very special. I've signed up for the Great British Garden Bird Watch. It's happening at the end of this week from the 29th to the 31st of January and it's run by the RSPB. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be studying the birds and to see how many birds I can see in one whole hour and I'd love you to join me if you can. Anyway, I'm going to put up what is a bird feeder. I'm just going to hang it up here. Can you see it there, ready for the birds to come and feed from it. And then I'm going to go inside and I'm going to watch for the birds out of the window. It needs to be really, really quiet. I've got my book here, which we're going to be looking at together in a minute, and it'll help me identify the birds that I can see. Perhaps I'll need to look through my binoculars to make sure I can see the birds really well. Anyway, hope you have fun doing this with me if you choose to take part. Bye. So I mentioned earlier that um, the RSPB is holding a big garden bird watch on the 29th to the 31st of January. And if you're interested in joining, uh, here is the link rspb.org.uk forward slash birdwatch. You can click on there, and there's loads of information about how to join and what you can do to see the birds. The RSPB stands for Royal Society for the Protection of Birds. So if we want to watch the birds or look out for birds, what would we need to do? How do we attract birds to our gardens or balconies? Well, as you can see here, there are some pictures of birds eating from bird feeders. We can give birds unsalted nuts, or sunflower seeds in a bird feeder. Also, we could make and hang up bird cake. We could put out mealworms, or we could hang up fat balls. You can also put out um, dried oats. Now, one thing you could try doing, if you had spare time, is to make a speedy bird cake. So, you will need good quality bird seed. You can buy this from supermarkets or garden centres. Raisins, peanuts, grated cheese, suet or lard at room temperature. Yoghurt, pots or a plastic cup, string, mixing bowl, wooden spoon and scissors. Oops. So first of all, make a hole in the bottom of the pot or cup and thread a long piece of string through the hole and tie a sizable knot on the inside. Leave enough string so that you can tie the pot to a tree or a bird table or put it round a hook on your balcony. Chop the lard into pieces and put in the bowl, mixing thoroughly with the other ingredients. Spoon the bird cake mix into the pots. If you can, put them in the fridge for an hour or two to set. That means go hard. Hang your speedy bird cake up. Will birds such as blue tits come to feed? You'll have to wait and see. So that's something you could do if you had time. 
even if you don't do it now while we're at home, it's something you could do in the future when we can get to the shops and buy those sort of things. Just to say, if you have a dog at home, it's probably best not to use the raisins because raisins aren't good for dogs. So now let's look at some of the birds that we might see in our garden. Let's look inside this book that's called Garden Birds Guide and Logbook. The first bird you might see is a robin. The robin has a red breast, a brown back, and the rest of him is white. He has a sh quite sharp, small beak and brown claws. You probably recognise the robin from Christmas cards. The next bird you might see is a blackbird. The male, or the daddy bird, is black with a yellow beak. And the, and the mummy bird, or the female bird, is brown with a slightly speckled breast. They're a bit, quite a lot bigger than the robin and you often see them on the ground rather than feeding from a bird feeder. Another very common bird you might see is a blue tit. They have a yellow breast, blue wings and a blue tail and a blue top to their heads. And the rest of the face is black and white and they have small beaks. They're quite small birds. Another bird you might see is the house sparrow. House sparrows have quite thick, chunky beaks. And again, they're quite small and they have brown pattern feathers and a brown and gray and black head and a brown tail. A very pretty bird you might see, although they're quite shy, is a goldfinch. Goldfinches have red, white and black heads with chunky beaks and a brown back and then their wings are yellow and black. Well, there's just a few birds that you might see. I wonder if you spot any more. You can go on the RSPB website and find out the names of other birds if you see any different ones. Bye for now. Task. Spend some time watching out for some birds in your garden or on your balcony or in the park. Record your results on the garden birds sighting checklist, which I'll show you in a minute. Things to remember, handy hints. Put out some food for the birds, keep out of sight and stay quiet. If you are keen, sign up for the RSPB's Big Garden Bird Watch or try making some bird cake. So you two, um, in case you can't get to see any birds, if you look on YouTube, last year I made a video. It is called Mrs Flanagan's Garden Birds. And you can just search on YouTube for that. And at the end of that video, there is about a five minute video of some birds on my bird feeder. So maybe you could spot some birds there. Okay. So what I'd like you to do here to is to take these um, sheets from your pack, which you're going to get um, later this week. One is called Garden Bird Sightings Checklist and one is called uh, Garden Birds and it's a bar graph. So when you have a chance to look at the birds, what I'd like you to do is to tick off when you've seen them. So we've got a robin, a magpie, a sparrow, blackbird, a blue tit and a goldfinch. So when you have seen the bird, you can tick the box for yes or leave it blank for no. 
So if you see a robin, you can give it a tick. If you see a magpie, you can give it a tick. If you don't see a sparrow, you can leave that blank. If you see two blackbirds, you could give it two ticks. If you saw three blue tits, you could give it three ticks. And then you could write down where you have seen the bird. So you might write down garden, if that's where you are looking. Or you might write down park, if you're in the park and you see one of these birds. So what I'd like you to do is to study um, an area, either your garden or your balcony or the park when you're out on your exercise for a period of time. If you'd like to do the one hour and you sign up for the RSBB bird watch, then you'll need to do it for an hour or just do it for maybe 15 minutes or half an hour. If you want an extra extension activity, you can fill in this bar graph to show how many of each bird you've seen. So there's a magpie here. If you see one magpie, you would fill in one of the boxes above the magpie. If you saw two great tits, you would fill in two of the boxes. You can use colours if you'd like to fill in the boxes. If you saw three robins, you'd fill in three squares. Have fun!